So, the other day uh, I was at, at my physical therapist getting a little niggle sorted out of my body just so that, you know, prevent injury in future. And uh, we were chatting and we got on the subject of testosterone replacement therapy. And so he asked me, what, you know, what about testosterone pellets? Have I heard about it? And I was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I felt quite embarrassed. And honestly, I, I'd never heard of testosterone pellets in my life. So I was like, okay, thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> I'm going to go look it up when I get home. And so that's exactly what I did. So I looked up testosterone pellets when I got home and apparently it is a thing. So, and it's quite a big thing, right? It's actually quite a significant form of TRT. And so I thought, okay, got to look into this. And so I did. And so I'm just going to give you an overview of what uh, testosterone pellets are today. You know, just a, a brief history, you know, who uses them, how it's used and that type of stuff. Because I'm sure there may be a lot of other people out there like myself that probably haven't heard about it or don't know too much about testosterone pellets. So basically testosterone pellets were already approved by the FDA around about 1972 but they only got proper uh, you know, they only went into production and got marketed properly around about 2008. And that was by the main brand or the main producer um, and distributor of testosterone pellets called Testopel. They, they were like the main brand that I could find when I looked into this. So I've actually got, I'll, I'll leave a link to their website uh, in the description of this video also, but you can actually see that. And I'll put a picture up here now. They've got a big Testopel website with all the information about it. So, you know, there is a lot of information out there, uh, but let's go get into it. So basically what it is it are, or what they are are small little pellets that they inject into your skin. And these little pellets all contain a little bit of uh, testosterone and that gets released over time. And that, that is usually about three to six months. So to go into a bit more detail, they're, they're tiny little pellets. They're about three to nine millimeters big or long and they contain about 75 milligrams of testosterone, right? And your doctor will usually inject that uh, subcutaneously uh, just under the skin in a, in a fatty area. So that's usually on the hips or in the glutes. Now you might be saying to yourself 75 milligrams, you know, and this has got to last for about three months on average, sometimes even as long as six months. Isn't that a little bit little? Yes, it is. So they don't just use one testosterone pellet uh, usually, right? It's a couples, but the maximum amount that you seem to get in one testosterone pellet is 75 milligrams. So let's say that you've got a dose of 150 milligrams, they'll use two pellets. Or let's say for argument's sake, your, your testosterone dosage that your doctor prescribes is 750 milligrams, they'll actually insert 10 pellets. I don't think they go that high, but just for the point of illustration and the measurements, you get the point, right? So basically what the doctor will do is inject a couple of testosterone pellets, you know, subcutaneously into a fatty spot, and those testosterone pellets will then release the testosterone slowly over a period of three plus months, but three months seems to be the average from what I found. So your doctor will obviously decide based on your symptoms and how low your testosterone is, what your dosage is going to be, and then allocate the, you know, the amount of testosterone pellets that you're gonna use based on how much testosterone he thinks you're going to need. Now, I've got a little picture over here which I'll put up on the screen also, which basically shows um, how the, the pellet is absorbed, right? So if you look at month one, you'll see in month one, a third of the pellet is absorbed. In month two, a quarter of the pellet is absorbed. And then in month three, a sixth of the pellet is absorbed. And then anything that is kind of left over after that will sort of just get absorbed over the rest of time until the pellets are removed. Now, to go, just to talk about dosage, which, uh, I found a little bit alarming because uh, the dosage seems to be quite low compared to what the rest of us on normal testosterone replacement therapy are, are getting, right? So as you're aware, you get all different forms of testosterone replacement therapy. You get the injections, you get the gels, you get the creams and, and a few other sort of ways of administrating it. Now, these pellets is just another form of administrating uh, and dosing TRT, but normally, um, you have a decent dosage, but with these testosterone pellets here, you can see it for the guidelines that they give. It says the dosage guideline for the testosterone pellets for replacement therapy in adult males is 150 milligrams to 450 milligrams subcutaneously every three to six months. Now think about that, right? 150 milligrams for argument's sake over three months, 
what, one, that's, that's like 50 milligrams a month. Even if you had 450 milligrams over three months, that's 150 milligrams a month. Most of us are getting 50 to 150 milligrams over a period of a week or two. So I find that really low and I guess maybe that's why I probably haven't heard of this as much because all the guys in the TRT community probably uh, realize that this seems to be low dosage and it's a hassle, I, in my opinion, you know, to go to your doctor, get all those pellets inserted. You know, you've, there, there are like risks with this. You can, there is a risk of infection. There is a risk of these pellets coming out if they're not put in properly. So I guess the reason we don't hear about this as much is because maybe uh, it's just more inconvenient than the other ways of administering testosterone. So I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna put the link for everything up there. There's a really good article I found uh, on testosterone pellets. Uh, and this is on PubMed, which is a good uh, resource for, for accurate uh, science. And this is called a review of testosterone pellets in the treatment of hypogonadism, right? And they do a whole breakdown of testosterone pellets, how it's administered, you know, the effects, the results and that type of thing. Uh, it's worth a read. If you want to know more about testosterone pellets, then I suggest you read this. And like I said in the beginning, links to all of these articles and everything you'll find in the description of this video and whichever other video this is on. So if you like this video, please click like and don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get more updates in future. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon and we are out.